Okay, well, we're back again, and uh, we have now learned first how to make things straight up in the uh, easel in Inventables, and then we learned how to make a file in Inkscape and save it as a .svg, a plain .svg file, and now we are going to import that into the Inventables the easel program and give it a go here so we're underway and better retitle this we're gonna call this test oh here we go Lewis Katz Lewis Katz test Sunday 2 rename oh bingo and then we're gonna open up import an SVG Oh, look at that. I've got two files here. One, it says, Lewis Katz into Easel Inkscape. I don't want to open up the Inkscape version. I want to open up the plane. Maybe it would have been smarter to label it plane. Press open. There it is. If there's something wrong with the file, it will say it's too big. It'll make a mess. You want to make sure, again, that there are no images in the file, no rastered images, things with pixels, things that you imported from Photoshop or a scan or something like that. They all have to be described as shapes. So now I've got each of the letters is a separate shape because I converted them to paths and I've got this outside box. Okay, so we are going to try this just the way it is. We're going to select just the box and then it says cut out the uh, it's set to outline and if I move this up a little bit it won't be there if I set it to fill it cuts things out but not the letters I don't know what's happening with the letters yet so I'm going to set this back to outline for the time being. Then I'm going to select all the letters. The easiest way to, whoops, undo move. Easiest way to select them all inside that box is to hold down the shift key and then click on all of them. Can be kind of a pain. There I've got them. Okay. Right now it's set to cut them the inside of those out is fill all the way down to a half an inch. I want to raise it up a little bit to an eighth of an inch. Notice it says the current bit size is too large to carve some of this design. These are smaller than an eighth of an inch across, so it won't do it. So what I want to do is I'm going to change my bit machine, my bit, I'll make it half as big and we'll see if we can get it. 0.0625, that's a sixteenth of an inch bit, and now it's not red, and I'm not getting that nasty little message It says, yes, you can cut all of those things out. Your bit's small enough. Okay, so I'm back in here. Okay, and so what I've got is I've got it set now, and it is going to cut out all of these letters down to an eighth of an inch. Three eighths of an inch when I cut all the way down it'll come out the bottom. I didn't set my materials this time. Materials. Bubinga. We're gonna set it to 0 .5, 0 0.6 inches thick and 30 And I want it to do it in three passes, so I'm going to set it to 2.245, just short of a quarter of an inch. And it'll take three passes to carve through, and the last little bit will just be a little cut. And it'll keep things a little bit neater on the bottom edge. Okay, so now, let's say I don't want to carve these letters. Got them all selected. Gonna set it to, oh, let's leave it at an eighth of an inch so we can see it easy right now. If 
I carve this and I carve out the inside of it, the fill, look, it made a decision for me. It's not cutting the letters out of there. <coughs> if you notice that it is carving the letters out, then the problem is, is that it's probably all the way in the front. Edit, bring forward, it's forward of the T, edit, bring forward, forward of the A, bring front. Now it's going to carve them all out. The thing in the front, the objects in the front, won't get carved away. Right now, the only thing in the front is this. Everything else is behind it. If I send this all the way to the back, then those show up again. And it's really easy to get crossways with this program doing this, uh, but it is uh, pretty powerful if you use it properly and you keep track of where things are. So then from here, when I want to carve this, I can go to Carve. And that's where our next tutorial is going to be, I think. It's going to be the carve tutorial. I could also decide, instead of to car carving these, these objects on the inside, I could carve out their internal... outline and we'll see if it says it can do it. It says outline on the inside and we'll see if we can see what that U looks like. Yes, it's leaving a little bit of a space right in here on the U where it's not carving it out. It's really kind of an imperfect rendition. So I could do this all kinds of different ways. Okay, and so I've got it saved. Everything is all straight. It's been nice talking to you with this talking to you with this tutorial. And uh, we click the pause button and save.